Villa was fired from the Federation after a long-standing dispute with him and the players. Villa doesn't get results. Yes, you know, the World Cup was won not because of him, though. The players very bluntly do not get along with him on a personal and a football level. It was never about the football. It was never about how he did with the national team, how the national team performed. It was always the backing of Rubiales. Spain crash out of the Euros in the manner that they did. The players kind of, they took that as, okay, that's enough. And the group stage showed the potential that's not being reached. So they protested 15 players along with the support of Alexio Puteas, Irene Paredes and Jenny Hermoso, who were not part of the 15, but did release a statement in support of that. They protested the standards. They protested that the national team is not reaching its maximum potential. These players didn't feel comfortable on a professional level, on an elite standard, on a mental and physical level. So his reaction was probably just as you expected it. As long as Uribales is there, you're safe. You don't have to put yourself out there. We saw at the assembly, he clapped for everything. Rubiales has Villa's back, Villa has Rubiales's back. It's always been like that. He is really well aware that if Rubiales is gone, then his job is on the line. And when he kind of discovered that Rubiales is, is going downhill, then he kind of had to step up. He has that confidence that he was wrongly dismissed. He did an interview on the radio saying that he didn't deserve his dismissal. Pues que no lo entendía y que no lo veía merecido mi cese. His relationship with Rubiales has now been exposed in the sense of backing each other no matter what. And now that Rubiales is out of the equation, Jorge Villa is now on his own and the right action was taken.